Yes, sir. Get them now. Black cricket. Cold. Fish. Oh, there you go. Fine. Oh, oh, but guess what? I was hooked on somebody's crankbait, <laughs> and that's why it's called fishing. <laughs> well, I, I've got some good ones, I ain't disappointed, but I've been after that big one. And he'd come to it, but he wouldn't take it in that time. That's probably why, ain't it? Well, look, I hooked it right in the split ring. That's why he wouldn't take it. He, already, yeah. he was already hurt. Now, now he might he might decide to eat. <laughs> well, now I'm feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> I may just do that. May yeah, get. You might want to put that plug you just ripped out of his mouth. Back <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's a thought. That might have been the hot ticket this morning. That's crazy. I don't know which way he went, but he's been he's been coming at that cricket, but he never would take it. Now I know why he had this stuck in his mouth. I see some fish right here. I don't know if it's him. I really need my glasses, but I ain't got them. Oh, it'll it'll clear up quick. That's why I'm up here fishing, cause that them deep holes, it's just harder for them to see. Now, if it was crystal clear water, I'd already had my limit, cause I can I'm a sight fishing fool. Yeah, I like seeing them and doing the presentation. I don't like I don't like fishing naked water. Came after it. <clears throat> Come on, buddy, you want it. There he comes. Come on. There you go. There you go. I got one. Yeah, he's a big one. Yeah. I had to downsize. I had to go way down to get him. I know where another big one is. And get him on the way down. <laughs> you caught any? Call Dad. Huh? I'll hook you up with some baits here in a minute. Come all the way over here and spend that kind of money, you need to catch something. Oh, I know. That's the first time I've been here that I haven't done very good. Well, that's the water. You just got to adjust. I, I fished everything all morning, trying some new baits that we make. Uh -huh. And we did good starting out, and then they quit. And now, now I'm uh, going back to what I was doing Monday, I went to Tennessee and fished a creek that was muddier than this. Oh, really? And I and the bait I just put on, I slayed them all day. Mm. Yep.
Just gotta take your time with these big ones. Yep. That's your daddy? That's my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah. Well, it's good to have an uncle take you fishing. Yeah. Let's go down here and give him some baits. Let's see what we got here. Where are you out of? Habing. Okay. Yep. Give YouTube channel. Yep, we just started it. Okay, man, that's where I've seen it. Okay. You go ahead and keep them. Well, I appreciate Put that. Put that on a small jig. Uh-huh. And then just switch it in front of them. Okay. Well, and sometimes that. you can put a little float, a little trout magnet float about mm -hmm. a foot up, like this shallow, yeah. and just switch it like you're crappie fishing. Okay. I've never yeah. really done real good on a fluke. Yeah, I always free. I freestyle most of the time. Or freehand. Yeah, that's what I usually like to do. That in there, I saw that fish. Mm -hmm. I put everything in front of him and said, well, I'm going to what I know. Second cast, second cast. And, and he's got it deep too. He, he didn't. He, he wasn't messing around. He went for yep, it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Kill. I got it. Old roadkill. When you need that last couple of fish, old roadkill. Do you see that? That fish come to the top of the water, I was pulling it up. That's roadkill, man. Right there he goes. I'm not even using a sinker, because it sinks automatically. And that fish come to the top. He's about the same size as that other one. But that's all I'm doing is just letting it, I'm slack lining it down in there. There he is, right there. How many you need? Huh? How many more you need? Uh, They're on this roadkill. Hold on, you got any roadkill? Uh -huh. I'll hook you up. Hold on a minute. Okay. I've got my limit now. If I can get him in. Never say never. Yeah, it helps. You don't use any sinkers unless you're fishing real swift water. 
use a bait holder hook, a number six or number eight. And this here, I'm using a number 10 scud hook because I want to get smaller in size. And uh, I'm just letting it go down there in the bottom like it's just floating around like it's hatchery. And they're eating it. They wouldn't touch it this morning, that buddy water. But buddy, they're eating it now. This water's cleared up. It's a better fish than what I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of energy. I've only got six pound test on. But I just retied, so I'm not really afraid. I think he swallowed it too. Over here, I'll give you some. I hate fishing that senior hole. All I was up there catching was chubs. <laughs> There's more fish right there. Yeah, I seen that one I caught just keep running up back and forth. Finally, I can change the colors. Yep. That there. Ladies and germs, we'll do it today. Size 12 boot. It's a good three pound fish, easily. Probably a little more. This is Alan Necessary with Appalachian Baits. Like our video, subscribe, and don't forget to click the little bell. That way, you, every time we put a new video, you'll know that we've launched a new video on there. I'm all out of breath. I'm tired, hot, thirsty. See you on the creek bank.